Hey, we've got four more tools to show you here. This is the regular polygons. So as you can see, you've got all different kinds of polygons here. Um, the number inside represents the uh, numbers of sides that you have here. So if we see a 12, it's going to be a 12-sided figure. Again, you have your arrow here, so we can go all the way up to 16-sided. Um, you can customize them, so if you wanted them to be filled and you want the line to be a certain color, you can do that as well just by using these tools right here. If you need to make it more transparent, you certainly could. First, I would need to click on my shape and then I can adjust my transparency level. Um, that is the irregular polygons. Um, next, we'll go to the lines. You have several lines that are already pre-made here for you. Um, if you wanted to make rays, you've got your ray here. And again, you can adjust your colors and you can adjust your styles, the thickness, um, the line style, the start, and the end. So now my line will look much different. Um, next, you have a fill bucket. Now the fill bucket comes in handy if you've made a shape and you needed to fill it. So I want this to be pink and then I can change it again and I want this one to be purple. And again, I'm going to do a green one. Okay, so that's the fill bucket. And lastly, we have the eraser. You can click on the eraser and you can get several different sizes. Now the eraser will only work on digital ink. These are not digital ink. This is digital ink. So if I use my pen and I have written something, then if I use my eraser, I can um, use the digital ink here. This one will gives you a bigger um, area that you're erasing at once, and you can see that this one would be much smaller for more precise things. Again, those gestures, if you circle whatever you want to erase and then tap the center, it'll erase everything.